Well, the price is a little bit very high. This is also the most expensive consumer-based 3D printer I have ever seen. Just joking. The Solfo SV01 Pro. A closer look on this 3D printer right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, this is Zachary and welcome to this video. If you are new here and not subscribed, consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell to get the latest news and updates and videos which I post on almost weekly base right in your YouTube alerts. A closer look, what is that for kind of video? If you're brand new, it's me commenting about a brand new 3D printer which is going to hit the market. It's basically, would I buy it or not? And a little disclaimer, the pictures, videos and other footage that I'm going to show are from the website from Solvo 3D. So now now that is out of the way, let's get into that video. So like I started with this video, the price is a price that I have never seen before. Which, what do you mean, Zachary? What is so special about the price? Well, currently the price of this 3D printer is nearly $100,000. It's insane. If you're watching this video and you will check the site right now, before the 10th of April, you will see also this $100,000 US dollar price for a normal i3 style 3D printer. So if you are looking to the other printers in the same kind of line, the, the SV01, the, the normal version, let's say like that, is 249 US dollars. So I think that the pro version will be maximum 100 US dollar more. I thought I saw on Twitter something about 299 but I'm not sure about that. So what can we expect? Can we click on it? Yes, we can click on it. So this is the front side of the 3D printer. I mean, it's looking like the Creality CR6 SE or maybe like the Ender 3 V2 or maybe the new S1 because this, this is, as you can see, this is a direct drive. Little small pancake stepper motor for the direct drive. Also having a BL touch or a CR touch. If you are going to bring out a 3D printer like this without a BL touch or without a bed leveling sensor. It's, I think it's a new standard. Also a filament run out sensor just underneath the filament spool holder. It's something that it's pretty normal to see on a regular 3D printer. It's a new standard. What I do like is that filament spool holder, it is still on the top, but it is leaning backwards. Yeah, so a very nice colorful LCD touch screen, no dialing knob, no other buttons it's just a full-size lcd touchscreen also on the x and on the y axis we see their belt tensioners so this is the sv01 if you have one let me know in the comments what do you think about the sv01 at this moment how many problems did you have with it or had with this printer so also this one is easy to build there's a there's a spool of filament there I don't know what Spider-Man has to do with this. And it's a drawing. It's not an actual print. I mean, print something. Uh, print a Banshee or print something else and have it there and make a picture of it. Why have a, a DC comic character just there on the build plate? It's not even 3D printed. Like mentioned, there is a direct drive, but it's a metal direct drive. So I don't know what Solvo exactly means with that, but I think that all of the components within this direct drive are not made out of plastic, but full metal. Doesn't say anything about the hot end. Also, Creality CR Touch on there. There's a 32 bit silent board. You guessed it right. It's exactly the same one from the Creality printers. Creality 4 2.2. So an LCD touchscreen, like mentioned, a colorful touchscreen. I do like this. L little bit more colors to the screen. Doesn't harm anybody, right? A flexible build plate. There is something I want to say about this. I don't know which kind of material this is, but if it are the ones that we used to see, the flexible magnetic sheets without metal. I don't know if they are that great, to be honest. Flexible filament run out sensor, resume printing. I think with the battery icon, they will say something like, you know, if power fails or there is a power outage, you can continue printing. However, if you have a resume function when power outage, the bed is not heated anymore. So will the print still be adhered to the plate or not? Or will it pop off? Anyways, that's something what I would think about nowadays. The build volume of the 3D printer, 280, 280 times 240, 
times 300 millimeters. So to the question, can you compare this to a Creality CR6 SE? No, you cannot. This one has a bigger printing volume than normal standard i3 style 3D printers. Yes, it looks like a Creality. It looks like some other known printers, but this is 280 times 240 times 300 millimeters. So you have more, more printing volume. A dual Z axis lead screw setup. Perfect, very nice. Because it is a direct drive, your X gantry will stay level for the whole part. That is also what I would like to see on a 3D printers nowadays, because why would you have just one lead screw if you can have two, you know? Intelligent filament change, what does that mean? Intelligent. Uh, better extrusion, easy to get high quality prints out of the box with TPU, PLA, ABS, PET G and wood filament. Cool. If I look to the, the dark mode, I, I would go for the dark mode because it very looks like if you are switching on lights in your house, something like that. Because I'm, I'm used to Google Home, the other apps controlling the lights. So this 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 would be nice. Enjoy silent printing. Dude, we still have fans that still making a lot of noise. So the decibel of this 3D printer will still be around the 40, 50 decibels. And just like mentioned, you will always see somebody in the background, you know, I can sleep while my printer is printing. Well, this is just the board, you know, it's not, not doing anything. Of course, the board is always silent. I never hear a board making a lot of sound. Waiting for the filament to pop out automatically. Pop out where? This is something that I want to understand as well. Compatible with different laser head? Different? Is there any other laser head then? This, this 3D printer is going to be a multitasker because you can buy a laser engraver head and a rotary roller. You can engrave on something like mugs or other stuff. You can print or engrave with a laser cutter or with the laser engraver. Very nice things on that. I hope they also sell kits with this printer that also these tools are right in there. Sign me up for that. I would like that. A micro SD card is going in. A USB connection is also possible. Layer thickness 0.1 to 0.4 millimeters. It's adjustable. A standard nozzle diameter 0.4, but you can also change them with other nozzles as well. Recommended print speed. It's not the fastest printer between the 50 and 80 millimeters per second. Nozzle temperature smaller or equal to 260 degrees. Celsius. The bed temperature is 110 degrees Celsius. So the whole printer weighs in total less than 10 kilograms. So that's nice. The power is 350 watts. It's a Creality power supply. Nice. There are some little questions that I have based upon the things that I have seen on the site. But in general, I think if this 3D printer is going to cost around the 300 US dollars, I think it's a very nice printer. At this moment, you can buy this printer for a hundred thousand US dollars. This video is supported by these amazing Patreon supporters. The Lightspeed, Fixum Dude, Carl Fenton, Nate Williams, YJ, and also a mystery Patreon supporter. Thank you guys for your amazing support. If you want to support this channel as well, check the Patreon link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please like this video, share this video with other people and on social media. And we will see each other next time. Peace. Bye-bye.